So, Caribbean Legend. Um, we looked at the free-to-play version, so there is a free-to-play version of this game. It doesn't have a lot of the quests. It's missing a couple of ships and probably a few other things. It's just the three starts. Okay. Oh, you can start sandbox. Wait, what? Restrictions and time limits. Oh, I don't want time limits. No, 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 no. The, the old game is um, terrible for that. Giving you like a couple of hours to finish a mission and stuff. I'm going to stick with the duelist. I think these things make possible. The rapier is no longer a daughter, but not a stepdaughter either. Right. Energy recovery is plus 15%. Sword, the broadsword, or axe become better. Okay. Um, do we want to start Spanish, British, or French? Oh, you can do the story here? Okay, let's, let's do the story. I'm going to stick it on exploration mode because I don't want um, time limits. God normalized the fucking sound. <laughs> Sorry, I had to turn that down to like 20% for you guys, but my ears got blown out. Okay. <sighs> Demo is land. Is this going to be the Sea Dogs campaign? Um, I'm not going to read any of that. It used to answer is the only weather we have here. Could be worse. Yep. You'll see, it could be hurricane season, hurry up. The longboat isn't gonna wait in yet. You don't want to swim to Martinique, do you? And don't forget your effects. Yeah, where's my sword? Here it is, you're in Europe anymore. It's gonna tell us if we uh, do the tutorial and stuff. It's cannibals in the jungle, tropical fever, pirates, bandits in the alleyways. Say nothing of the Spanish and the English. Oh yeah, so okay, we have no ship. Welcome to the Con Colonies. Uh, and I'm introduce myself, George Valine. Uh, you're new to the Colony? Yep. Just disembarked. I don't think I've seen you before. Do I know you? No. We're going to miss the opportunity. Okay. Oh, is he going to show us around town? I remember my first day here, the day of my arrival to the New World. Things are different here. A local lifestyle may ruin your health and wallet. I want to sell free of charge, quite rare. You can probably amaze yourself with the colony and the archipelago. Um, sure, we'll do it. Just, it's going to take a few minutes, but we'll do it. Glad to hear you, man. Uh, let me introduce you some basics. Most colonies are built with a similar layout. Settlement on the shore, protected by a fort and city walls and with gates. 
Nobles, rich folk, soldiers, sailors, merchants, and criminals, all of them live together within the walls. Sometimes you'll meet captains, monks, gypsies, and beggars as well. You won't find any Indians on the street, though those savages make people uneasy. If you want to see Indians, you'll have to go into the jungle. Follow me. Uh, it's automa oh. yep. Automatically following him. As you do. <laughs> this is the most important place in the colony, the tavern. Um, in Europe, these places are considered the den of scum and villainy. Not here in the New World, it's different. The bartender can offer you room, sleep in, some rum, juicy gossip, and a job. If you need information, try talking to the patrons here. Buy a drunkard another drink, and you may get some interesting in return or not. Gambling is a uh, popular pastime, but beware of cheaters. If you catch someone cheating, don't hesitate to kill them on the spot. <clears throat> Uh, it's also a place where you can hire crew and officers. Ah, oh, okay. Remember the tavern is the information. Okay. See if you can get me around the guard. I'm not. I'm not moving. It's just the the game doing this. There we go. Store. Store's tra trading center of any colony captains uh, visit this place as often as the shipyard. Yep, we know that. Decent trading skills to bargain with the local merchants. Gotcha. And yeah, there is like an economy of where to buy and sell. And that's why most captains hire pursers to conduct business in their stead. And so don't forget to hire a professional when or if you will get a ship of your own. It's critical you don't waste money out here. On mistake, you'd be ruined. That's true. They can offer you delivery contracts. Yep, you can may find this useful in future. These are a lot of the things that uh, that these quests are probably not available in the sandbox. Lord Samuel forty six, thank you for the follow. The prison, filthy place. The really bad criminals end up with a noose around the neck quickly, so most small fry are kept here. If you want to chat with them, speak to the prison guard. He will allow you to enter for a small fee. Don't want to add the 46. Fair. Fair enough, dude. How are you doing? Um, <clears throat> pretty useful, but remember, the low lives can't be trusted. Although they always talk sweetly and protest their innocent game bears. I'm good. Good, good. I've been interested to see what the full game of this is going to be like, you know. Sandbox is cool, that it's free and everything. It's an updated Sea Dogs. So, I want to see how good this is. Yeah, I played Sea Dogs back in the day as well. And I, exactly, I didn't understand a thing either. <laughs> I still don't understand half of it. This is the marketplace. Traders buy and sell everything you need. An armor can provide you with blades, firearms, uh, armor, munitions, and so on. Good equipment is rare. Those who don't expect to find a masterpiece of armor's craft is lying about here. Herbalists can offer health potions and such, yep. And if you're lucky, recipes. You're not an alchemist, right? Gypsies offer pagan amulets and useless crap like bat corpses. <laughs> Some folks claim to know the use for such things, but it was all nonsense. Monks sell all the holy stuff. And the junk men sell garbage. Which one is the armor? I want to see what the first quest is because I want to know is it is it a new quest? I presume that's the armor there with the sword in front of him. So here's the important building. A brothel, the world's oldest profession. Every man visits such places, otherwise they'd be out of business. Even the noblemen do at, a co at the cost of their reputation. Be aware of that. Be nice to the girls, and they'll tell you interesting things.
Okay. The Moneylender's house? Or user... You sure? Banker? You go by a lot of different names. Often very rude ones. You can deposit money, exchange doubloons and pesos, sell or buy jewelry. So yeah, that's the thing I wasn't doing in the sandbox is like, if you go here, you'll get a little bit more for jewelry and stuff. Uh, if you have a positive reputation, you can even get a loan. Be careful. For the best prices for gems, jewels and other valuable trinkets, always visit them to sell such things. They're powerful people, so don't cross them. Something I knew but didn't actually act on when we were just messing around the sandbox. All right, going up to the Governor Palace. We'll probably go to the church then. the office of the most important man in the colony. Noble visit, nobles visit this place uh, for balls and parties. Yep. It's always wise to be on the governor's friend list. He's a lot of influence in the citizens. Finding still as janky as ever? Yeah. It's an update. You know, it's a remaster. It's a uh, privateers can also earn good money working for governors who are able to buy out prisoners of war. If you're wealthy and want to establish a good relationship with his excellency, he may even honor you by gambling with you for some high stakes. Ah. Came here to find my brother. Oh my god, it is the, the sea dogs. To each his own. Okay. Ah, I see. So you want to pay his excellency a visit and ask him about your brother. Yeah, okay. The sea dogs to each his own campaign. So what happened with sea dogs then? Hold on. Please, oh, please. boss. I'm quite occupied at the moment. Uh, I'm arresting you. Oh, so I'm arresting you for further investigation. Okay. The devil is this. Okay. So we did a little bit of a playthrough of Sea Dogs to each his own, um, but I kind of left it on hold. I'm pleased with your service. Um. Philippe de Ponce. Uh, okay. Good afternoon. Not to interrupt me, you're talking to the Governor General of the French Colonies of the Caribbean. Okay. I'll give you for a cocky tone. Because you wouldn't know who was standing in front of you, but I recommend you. Okay. Better. Now, concerning your previous question, you were considered by mistake a Spanish spy and put under arrest. Once your status is clear, blasted Castilians have become more active recently. Therefore, I ordered to detain all suspicious people. We know who you are now. You're really Charles Moore, brother of Michel de Montpere. I personally came down here in order to release you, and you're yelling at me like a little boy. Pardon me again, Your Excellency. Am I free now? Yes, you are. But I want to talk to you privately before you, um, a sergeant will open your cell. You know that your brother, one of the worthiest warriors of the Maltese Order, was arrested and put under a guard. So this is Sea Dogs Each His Own story. I thought there was a new story, but okay. It's fine. So I'm kind of just going to skip through a bunch of this. Yeah, it's, a, it's basically a remaster. I didn't realize there was an actual just just a remaster. I thought it was supposed to be something with a new story. But hey, here's what it is. Can we open our log? We can. Like, this is cleaner. It's the same, but it's cleaner.
Do, 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 do. Send Tia to the world. I should ask about my dear brother. Okay, yeah. Did you include the story from the first game? Well, the, this is the story from the, the last game to release. Come on, don't irritate me. Can pass. Yeah, hold on. Let me. Uh, I'm in windowed mode, so it shouldn't crash. Tell you when Sea Dogs to each his own released because I have it here somewhere. Uh, do, 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 do. Sea Dogs to each his own released in 2016. I suppose, yeah, eight years. That's fair enough. So. Come on in. Have a seat. Make yourself at home. <laughs> yeah, I just wandered into the prison for a bit of chill, you know. Who are you? Where are you off? We're searching. Are you a Yes, that's correct. Oh, wait, this is kind of new. You can see him right away. He's got into trouble, hasn't he? Fortunately, he has. She was under arrest and locked in prison. Signing the orders. All of us were shocked. Your brother's an example of manhood. Or oh, maybe it's not new. What is he being accused of? Nonsense, Kuruna. They've accused him of stealing money from the state. But where's the prison? It's located in their underground base here. Follow me, I'll show you the way. Okay. Man, no one would know us. Totally not suspicious, exactly. Well, actually, he's not suspicious. He is actually a knight of the order. Here we are. This is our base of operations, Caribbean chapter of the Hospital Knights. See my brother. Um, he is blameless in here. Everyone here is ready to swear. Go. and soldiers are always in high demand. I kind of remember where to go anyway. Oh, look who it is. No matter what you think, I'm happy to see you. So we're just going to go through a bunch of this. He's going to tell us to go do stuff. Straight from the middle of my okay no. Answer that. What are you being accused of? Stealing money. Told you those were the official charges. Save money from for a very dangerous and delicate operation which was supposed to shift political balance in the Caribbean. I was acting in direct orders of Philip Ponce. Yep. Ponce had a fit of anger due to the fact that all his long shot plans went up in the air. He had personally signed the order for my arrest and made sure it was executed. Um, came here and made, uh, told us we were accused of peculation and treason against the order. Or if my rel relatives or I wouldn't return the money spent on the operation. Um, like I said, did take kind. What's the sum he's demanded? A million. Cool. Um, fine. A million in six months. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. No way Ponce is going to release me from the cell. If it was that easy, I wouldn't ask for your help. So I want us to come up with the money. No, just not just my freedom. I've forgotten. Conversation about the palace of balls, sex with noble whores. Yes, you're the one that has to do it. And if, of course, you would like to keep carrying on with your meretricious life in Paris, just like before. Where the hell am I supposed to get it? Sorry, I'm just going to scan through this. It's a lot of dialogue and uh, translation isn't the best. But uh, <laughs> we'll get to what we have to do soon. Um, have we an agreement or not? Pete, as I said, 
Yes, yes. Looks like I'm staying here for a while. All right, I'm all ears. Here we go. Yes, you are going to stay here for a while. Um, forget about her. That's fine. I better let's get to the point. Yes, let's get to the point. A man with his own ship. Okay, I'm not a sailor. And it's time to become one. What oh, a turn of events. Okay, and where will I find myself a ship? There's an excellent lugger waiting at your, our local shipyard. It isn't big, but it's very comfortable. Boat just right for making the first steps. Ship only costs 5,000. That's kind of weird. Brother, if you listen to me, 5,000 is just the deposit. The lugger's price is around 20,000 pesos. You'll have to earn the rest of the money yourself. Besides that, you'll need money to hire a crew and a navigator. So in the in the in C Docs teaches on these were the this is the really tricky part where you had the timed missions and then some of them had to be done in the right order and so on and you could you could get locked on this island if you didn't complete them uh, a lot of con artists out there titles mean crap here and uh, when you depart to sea set sail to Guadalupe. Yes, Guadalupe is the island to the north. Meet Fede. Okay. I mean, use this money to earn more money and so on. By trading, for example, we will return to this conversation. Now you should deal with the ship. Sail to Guadalupe and find the fat muscovite and beat the dead out of him. Not literally, of course. Well, we probably should. Oh. But let's skip the tutorial then. The morning part might save your life whenever. Whatever, this is an easy part. There's an easy way to get the money right now. Go to the local church and talk to Abbot Benoit. He's an old friend of our father. Tell him about the situation. Fall on your knees and beg that he lends you enough coins to buy a ship. Much better now. Heading to the Abbot. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Let's go talk to the priest. Kind of glad then that uh, oh. oh god. Hmm. Did he let you in the yeah, headquarters? It must be part and found your brother. Oh, you did. Uh, I was hoping to get the hell out of this crap hole. Okay. Into your fate. Uh, don't be so sad. You're gonna uh, turn to be a captain of your own ship. It's a very respected position here. Do you intend to buy a ship, right? Yeah. I wish you could fill your pockets up with gold, but I'm as broke as you are. However, I can fill your head with knowledge. Desperately interested. Uh, yeah. Oh man. I didn't have an option to get out of that. Oh look, it's the shipyard, yes. Thank you. Our shipyards have nothing in common with the grand shipyards of good old Europe. These are the colonies. They don't build galleons or ships of the line here. Local masters can build luggers, schooners and sloops. Very rarely you'll see brigs and barkentines. Sometimes privateers bring prize ships they captured and shipbuilders buy them for cheap, repair them and sell them for a profit. I once saw a frigate on the price list. Locally made ships also have poor characteristics. Don't worry though, practicing on small and cheap vessels will allow you to progress and allow you to eventually master something better. It's also the place to buy cannons or several types of guns. You can get installed near vessels, provided of course you should carry them. Every vessel has limitations, you'll never be able to put 24 pounders on a lugger. Remember that the big caliber guns are rare and expensive. On the bright side, such guns can literally vapor vaporize the enemy's crews, sails and hulls. Uh, yep, paint, cool. If you show me where the port is, I'm going to shoot you. When I get a pistol, I'm going to shoot you. Yeah, I don't even have a sword.
Gonna let him do it. At the moment, you can handle a Tartan or a Longbow, but you can and should hire a Navigator. Normally, they can be found in taverns along with other mercenaries. Always check their skill level first in case it's not high enough for your ship. Ship's ranks determine, for example, I am experienced enough to control a fourth rank vessel without penalties. Brigantines, barks, flutes, zebex, and corvettes require more. As for giant ships, the line of men of war, only experts in navigation control such monsters. Okay. So, boats weigh in trains your crew and make boarding more effective. Purser will perform financial activities in your place and raise your ships from rats. That's going to be huge, actually, the rats. Position heals your wounded men and lowers the amount of die in battle. That's good, too. Repairs damage done to the ship. The boarding officers save your skin when pirates start swarming your deck. Oh, so do I need a joiner on the ship before I can use the sailcloth and planks? And their reputation, every man has one. Chose a man for what he really is. If you're an honorable man and always treasure your good, then look for officers who share your ideals. If you want to be a pirate, well, you get the idea. Honest folks will not work for scum, and the opposite is also true. There are two types, merchantmen and warships. Luggers, brigs, and corvettes are warships. There are hybrid ships, of course, which ships are suitable for both snow, schooners, and galleons. Yeah. So, ships can have different rigging arrangements. Most are, some are mostly square rigged, and some are mostly fore and aft rigged, which form the ship's best course angle. Determines how your rigging is affected by the wind and on which course your vessel will make the best speed she's capable of. Once you're at sea, find the arrow on the mini-map and you'll be able to... That will be your course angle. Oh, the black arrows are your course angle. Okay. I thought that was the... Um, what's it called? I can't remember the name. Anyway. Taverns, yeah. Naval battles. Telling us about the different uh, types of thing. Hold your fire if you're sure you not deal enough damage. Every damage comes up again. Okay, they can explode sometimes, especially if you shoot too often. Always maneuver. Try to take a better position related to the wind if the enemy is too dangerous. If you can't flee, try to provoke them to shoot you constantly from a distance without taking damage. This trick will eventually empty their gunpowder supplies. It may take days. So you better find cover like rocks or coastal line. Will not work in the open sea. Mines. Something I should have remembered the last time. Get a spyglass. Yep. Yeah. A good spyglass will provide you with a fine tactical overview regarding the presence of musketeer units on your opponent's vessel, for instance. We done? Oh my god. We're not done. Oh. Take me to the harbor office? Okay, you can find job offers here, praise for large merchant, merchant convoy escort, duty for warships. Some trust here, if you do your job well several times, we'll trust you for more complicated and much better paying contracts. Other captains and leave your excess ships here in storage for safekeeping. <coughs> Open-ended storage, just don't forget to pay, got it. City gates are closed, so there's another topic I'd like to tell you about. The gates lead to jungles. Follow me, I'll tell you about stealth actions and fencing. Do you mind? No. I. I no. <laughs> I 
<laughs> get out of this. Well, for anyone watching the video, you won't have to go through this. Okay, the city gate leads straight to the jungles of the island interior. By day, they are guarded by two soldiers who check everyone entering the city. At night, they are off duty. Therefore, there are two ways to get inside. First, you can drop the anchor in port and disembark on the pier. Second, if you want to be sneaky, you may land at others, some other bay or shore on the island and travel through the jungle to the city gates. Sometimes you'll have to visit the Spanish colony, so remember we are at war with the Spanish. So don't even think about sailing into the port without a Spanish flag raised, otherwise the fort will open fire immediately and turn your ship into matchwood. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You need to master special skills and exercise caution in order to get inside hostile settlements. Know that the only way to safely drop anchor in Spanish ports is to learn a skill name raised the Spanish flag. Such tricks require time and experience to learn. Raising the flag doesn't mean merely raising some yellow and red flag. Or conducting various masking measures to blend in. Depends on the level of your stealth skill, class, and number of ships in your fleet. It is easy to make a single sloop seem like a Spanish vessel. Same cannot be said for five frigates armed to the teeth. If you're unable to trick the fort guards and port officers, you should consider sneaking through the city gates, as I mentioned before. Wait until night to avoid guards and enter. Avoid any soldiers patrolling in the city, especially at night. Find a tavern. Rest there until morning and go about your business. Don't fight your soldiers. Don't fight the soldiers if you're a compromise. Run into an empty house and lose them and stay there for half an hour. It'll make them stop hunting you. Sneaky, isn't it? If you aren't up to the bravado, buy a trading license from the Dutch. It'll spare you the trouble of sneaking around hostile territory and allow you to sail in openly. Uh, a sign of your peaceful intentions, this paper will allow you to enter any port until the terms have expired. But there are some downsides. First, the company has special rules and demands that any captain willing to buy a license must follow. Secondly, it costs a lot. Willemstead on Curacao. Okay. Now let's practice fencing, okay? Yeah, I know how to hold a sword. Good for you, let me teach you some theory first. There are three types of sword, light, medium, heavy. Cool. Every class has benefits and drawbacks. Yes. Alright, I'm just going to bust through this because half an hour in. <laughs> there are several fencing moves and tricks that you're to spell with thrust attack, chopping attack, heavy attack, and group attack. Thrust is the fastest. Uh, excellent for long rapiers. Mostly useless for axes. Chopping axe is quite versatile, has decent speed, significant loss of stamina. Chopping attack, excuse me. Uh, is good for sabers, broadswords, and axes. Not very effective with rapiers. The heavy attack is dealt from above, an excellent choice for axes. Will work fine with short sabers and cutlasses, yet rapiers are simply not designed for such moves. This attack will drain a huge amount of stamina, but will deal crippling damage and ignores your enemy's block. Blocking is useless against heavy attacks and experienced opponents. Always have a chance to break a block. Parrying is much better. Opens up your opponent for attacks and forces him to lose stamina. Several successful parries on your opponent completely loses the initiative and is forced to defend himself while you have full advantage. Feints are tricky and risky. Grilling your opponent and immediately giving him a quick thrust requires only a little less stamina. But you must be concentrated, attentive, and in the rhythm of the fight. Mastering this move will demand a lot of practice from you, but it is rewarding. Okay. In order to maximize damage from every type of attack, you must use the right weapon for each. First attack will perform best with long, heavy, straight rapiers or swords, with a balance from 0 to 0.5. Long curved cutlasses or sabers with a balance from 1.5 to 2. Are excellent for chopping around heavy attacks. A heavy atta uh, heavy axe with a balance of 2.0 is perfect for heavy attacks, but such weapon will require a lot of stamina and skill to use. The group attack isn't worth being your primary move, it's rather defensive, but a curved light long cutlass with a balance of 1.25 will work wonders against groups of enemies around you. 
I've never even noticed a group attack. Finally, the best weapon for a feint is a dagger. Consider making this move your specialty. The weight of the weapon determines on how much stamina it will require for any attack move. Uh, finding the perfect weapon... Uh, a decent fighter can take down a few poorly trained fools together in the open. But if there are a dozen scoundrels coming at you, avoid being surrounded at all costs. Run away, find yourself a corner or some stairs. Doorways, whatever. Force them to fight you one by one. They'll slice you up in a second if you make a mistake, so force them to play on your terms. Don't lose initiative and watch your stamina. Health potion, cool. Uh, if you need to fix the small wound, use a healing essence here. Say it's going to be treated with a healing elixir. Okay. Antidote and mixture will do fine if you're poisoned. Also, recommend ginger root. It wonderfully freshens your breath. It also heals uh, without any side effects, unlike essences. Wait, side effects? Essences, elixirs, and mixtures damage your health, as I mentioned at the beginning of our tour. It's bad. Bad health will cause drops in your skill levels, will decrease the total amount of your health points and stamina. Sleeping six and a rare potion called Tears of the Shell restore health if it's not ruined completely. If it's too late, visit a priest. They will help you for a fee. Not much to say, point and shoot. Practice time. Hmm, just notice, where's your sword? Heard that our lesson must be delayed. How did you end up without a weapon? Uh, they took all my stuff. I'm gonna sell it, but lucky you I was delayed. Mercy, shall we? On guard. Oh, it wouldn't let me go back. Wouldn't let me dodge. Rematch, yes. That's the parry, okay, hold on, let me do this. That didn't work. <laughs> so that's what fencing mode is, okay. And use concentrate, yes. Thank God, provide the money you need. Talk to important people in our city, visit all the places that I've shown you, okay. Oh, wait, did he not give me that sword? Oh, you fecker. Our health is excellent. So, technically, we don't need sex right now. Uh, priest. Uh, I need your help. My name is Charles Moore. Advise me to talk to you. Ah, oh, you're the brother of Michelle Odd. I understand your dad's part of it, but my father is honorary. I see. Uh, turn into light, young man. Right, same eyes, same noble features. I am pleased to see a son of Henry here. I need a ship to help Michelle. Yet I have just recently arrived in the Caribbean and my wallet is empty. My brother told me uh, you could lend me some money. Yeah. I might not sound very trustworthy. Yes, it's true. The sooner I get the ship, the sooner I'll be able to get my brother out of jail. I see, I can hear you speaking the truth. I assume 50,000 pesos. Uh, yeah, that'll do. What are your terms? No pressure. Half a year for a payment will be enough. We may be murdering a priest in about six months. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> You'll never see me again.
So, if we go in then, look at our logbook. Anyway, let's talk to the ship, right? Unless I have to go back and talk to my brother. Also, have you got a sword? Buy a machete. I'm gonna hold off on buying the machete for now. Mary's very jealous. We're gonna first see if you have anything to steal. You do. Always check the chests. Hi. It's really strange because I told you the brand new logo is your ship here. Yes, indeed, but there's already a deposit on it. Well, if such a thing, then continue your conversation. You really really pointed out. Yes, but full value of the ship, I think it's 20,000 pesos along with ammunition. So pay me 17,000 and the ship is yours. entry in the quest log um okay so right get a crew brother said uh, yeah go to the bartender and then we'll go to the store i think we hire an officer as well i can't remember do, 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 do. You notice? You can't help you right nobody in this. The people they know can serve under you, but I can give you advice. Talk to the sailor who just took the table right behind you. I have a ship with no crew. The bartender advised me to speak to you. Oh, that's correct. Do you want to hire me and my mates? What kind of a ship have you got? A regular ship of lugger. I just said wants to serve and cram into a turret or a longboat, but Lurgit will do just fine. How much? There's your money. Where can get them minimum? Okay. Interesting they don't have the um, the music at the door there. I think it's like 200 of each I need. I think it's 200 of each I need. How much money have I got? 33 grand. That should be enough. Is it 200 or 100? I can't remember. change when we get the uh, actual crew. Alright, let's see if that's enough. I can't remember. There's our ship. Excuse me, I've got to get to the saloon from. Cool. I'll have to go back and uh, talk to my brother. I'm just gonna hear 
listen to the music for a bit. Basically, ask around town. Um, I am going to buy that machete now, just so that I do have a sword. I guess I'll buy the better one just just because uh, we have that we can sell to the banker yeah that's not what I'm after I'm after you so I have a bit of healing and then they're basically saying ask around town for a navigator navigator could be Got a question looking for a navigator perhaps you know what is somebody somebody one problem he's in jail debtor's prison where bastard's been locked up in case mates for near a month what's his name Falk the loot the prison commandant uh, if you want to see him don't let him walk out unless they're his debt Okie dokie. Back to prison we go. Come on in. Have a seat. Make yourself at home. Um, yeah. Is there anything I can do to release him? I'll be able to do that while I stay in prison. Don't care about it. How much does poor soul owe me? I know. Ask the banker and he'll give you the details. Doubloons, maybe. You can sneak into the dungeon, I guess. Uh, banker. Ask around something. I know you have a debtor by Falk the Luke. Um, I need this man free and up behind bars. Five thousand pesos. Well, as that is ten thousand four hundred fifty pesos exactly. So it's freedom. Price that amount if you're willing to pay me. I'm a little surprised. I'm surprised. Here's the money. Um, cool. Let me you need a money I wanted to sell you jewelry. I guess that's not opened up to us yet, right? We're belting through this. God, if it wasn't for that tour guide, we'd be done. Come on in. Have a seat. Make yourself at home. Brought the rights to his debts. There we go. We brought you here soon, but I warn you, there's a box to run away the first opportunity. Cool. We actually have to wait.
There he is. <clears throat> Excuse me. One second. Right. Got a ship with no navigator. I need one, so I bought out your debt. You're saying that you dragged me out of here to take me on your crew? Yep. Gratitude. I bet. One more thing. Do you have any other skills besides steering a ship? A little bit of everything. I used to serve aboard a private here for the Dutch West India Company. Uh, cannons, gunnery, officer if you need me, trading and boarding are my weakest suits. Well, I will keep him as a navigator for now, right? Uh, use the action menu while at sea to access the cabin and other areas of the ship. We can do that. What's our quest say now? Oh, okay. Talk to him in the cabin on board the ship. Cool. Of course, we. What do I owe this occasion? Let me introduce myself. Uh, Walter Catcher. I've been sent here by Caesar Craig. Must know him. He's the owner of the tavern at Le Francois. Uh, as far as he's informed, you're about to depart to Guadalupe. We'd like to offer you some easy money. Simple captain. A uh, ship is the only ship in Saint Pierre at the moment. Everyone with two ears and an eye knows everything about how you are, who you are, and where you're going. Out here in the colonies, we must learn. Okay. You can see uh, you have a keen nose for business. Here's the deal. Caesar actually needs a batch of wine delivered to Guadeloupe. 200 barrels. Your ship's hold can take it easily. It pays 10,000 pesos for an easy job. Caesar's in a hurry. Your ship is the only one to have right now. You must agree such profit. Okay. Head to Land Francois and talk to him. He'll take care of everything. All you have to do is anchor in the bay just outside, Le Francois. Don't let me down. Promise me a thousand pesos if I convinced you. You're gonna get shot. Actually, you have a pistol. I might kill you. Don't worry, consider me convinced. As soon as I'm ready to spar, I'll sail directly to Le Francois. Right, I'm off to get my thousand. Thanks, Mitty. Yeah, I was gonna say we'll use the action menu to go to the port, but can't. If you hit enter, you bring up the action menu and do a bunch of things. I've made the UI a little bit bigger, so hopefully it's good for everyone. Let us get the hell out of here. And then use the fort to lure in ships. It closed, but it's not closed. You liar. Um, that's a little... I'm going to reduce that a little bit. Just a little bit. Let's go about there. Yeah, I think even that's a bit better, right? So we'd enter, go to our cabin. Fine logger captain. Quite a decent little ship, a fine rigging and sound timbers. A ship like this uh, will not only safely reach quite a leap, but even cruise the whole Caribbean if we wish. Excellent. This is from your money way. Uh, any advice? Well, you've definitely stocked up enough ammunition, captain. Plenty of powder and shot for knees. Just don't forget to restock as it's needed. That's good. We don't have enough weapons on board. Uh, hey, Mark One. If we don't have enough weapons, we'll lose far more men during, um, as far as I understand, you have 40 men in this crew. Buy enough weapons for each, or even buy a few extra, 50 should suffice. Prudent to keep a few more weapons than we'll need. The damn rats will gnaw on any wooden handles and stocks. That I'll do. So that that's the guy, once you've completed the tutorial, he'll tell you the, the numbers you need for everything. So we go back to C. To start this, uh, Scotch first ship. Yeah, but we kind of just skipped the main tutorial because I've done it before. Because it's it's basically it's a remaster of uh, To Each His Own. And I need to go to the store. Boom. 
We've been going about an hour. Alright, let's haggle a little bit. Um, but I did click on the tutorial guy, so he took us around the town a bit. Uh, we'll say 50. Cool. There's all the money nearly gone. Oh, yo, no, no, no. We skipped the main tutorial, which will take you a couple of hours, easily. And we just got shown around the town and then did some of the missions. But we skipped the bulk of the tutorial where you have to go get the wine for the fort and get, get all this other stuff, go to the, the jungle. There's a lot of things to do. Also, I'm in exploration mode, so hopefully there's no um, time limits. See two versions? So yeah, there is the free version, which is the sandbox version, which won't have a lot of the side quests, it won't have the story. Um, they actually have a... Uh, on the discussions page, they do have it, and it shows exactly what's not in the sandbox version. And uh, then there is this, which is the paid version of the well, remaster, so it has the, the quests and everything. Everything is in this. Um, I need to go to my ship. No, I need to go here. Wait. Oh, I need to talk to the dude. Uh, you got early access to it? Oh, yeah, I did, yeah. I guess I should say that actually, yes. <laughs> yeah, Mark, I don't know if, you, if you're part of like emailer, um, it's a good site to do that. Uh, but I played Sea Dogs on the channel before, so uh, the guys had emailed me about it. Um, yeah, the Valkyrie Initiative. Right, let's talk to this guy. Weapons are in the hold. There's still something you want to add? Nope, that's it. Yeah, the sandbox mode is out. <clears throat> sandbox mode does have all of the updated graphics and everything, so it's not bad. Like, you know, you can go around, capture ships and stuff. Not bad. And uh, we have enough food all taken care of the rum. You never want to hear wh where's the rum gone. Great. Wouldn't have made it without you. And set me as a navigator and we'll go to my place on deck. That's what I wanted. So he's now there to be put in as the navigator. Excellent. He's unarmed. We'll have to get him equipment. And uh, we should probably rip the feckin' sword ourselves. So we can have a rifle, a pistol, an amulet, armor, sextant, spyglass, and then um, these amulets go in here. And we have we do have abilities, so at the moment we have light armor protection is increased by 20%. Uh, we don't consume energy on missed hits because we're a fencer. 5% five percent, five percent chance to land a critical. We can raise the French flag and we can raise the pirate flag. And then we have increased ship speed. You can get a feel for the game, I guess. Sounds nice. Yeah, that's, that's it, exactly. If you're half interested in this game, check out the sandbox of Caribbean Legend. See if you like it. There's a bit of jank because of the. It is a Sea Dogs game. But uh, I've enjoyed them for a long time now, to be honest. Um, 
Right. Uh, healing potions, you don't actually need to equip them because uh, in combat you just hit X. So, cool. We're actually ready to sail. Oh, we can go straight. Yeah, so if you go into the action menu then, as it says up at the top there, it's sail to, and we can sail to places around the island that we're at, that we know of. So we can do that. Boom. And we're where we need to be. Uh, yeah, let's just more. I, I like the fact that your ship is always there. And now that we've started a game on the start menu, our crew and our ship will be on the start menu as well. A nice little touch. Alright, let's go talk to this fecker. I think this used to be one of the timed missions as well. Of course, we can speed up time as well. I don't know if I want to go out and fight people yet. I can't wait for mods for this. The mods for the old game were great, but obviously the old game was, you know, gank. So if this is more stable and we get mods, awesome. Don't forget to loot all the chests in every single house. Uh, that's the store. That's the governor's place there. Hey, healing potion. Wish I could take the swords. They're very fancy swords. But they're very fancy swords. I'd like that. Where will eventually sail a ship? Uh, we need to talk to the barman here, right? Do, 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 do. We're always happy to solve our customers. Um, I'm here about the barrels of wine. What are you talking about, man? I've been sent here to you by a man named Walter Catcher. He said he needed a shipment of wine to go out a loop for 10,000 pesos. I mean, he's exactly my ship for this job. Fancy that, so Catcher wasn't sent from you at all, then what's this whole comedy about? Oh, great. Is there some kind of mistake or bad joke or what? Don't you get it by yourself? Someone lured me here. Yeah. Well, we better save the game. Because we're about to die multiple times, probably. Ambush on the beach. Your first sea battle is coming. Save your game. <laughs> sea battle, that's fine. Right. Load the buck shots. Definitely load the buck shots because there's 40 of us and not 40 of them. So yeah, you can turn on and off the ranges if you want. I think the enemy bombs are immediately bored them if the wind allows. That's what we're doing. But we're gonna buckshot them first. We've got great speed actually. The wind is obviously allowing it because it's a tutorial.
Good luck. <laughs> I love the accuracy in this game. If you're expecting to hit 90% of your shots, just just don't. I'm coming for you, buddy. Probably should have let that finish, but hey. Come on, boys, get him. I'll uh, be busy over here. Death becomes you. Hold on, boys. I'm cheering you on. Well done, well done boys. Take all of this. This is why you want to board ships, by the way. It's like Mechwire, the the meat is replaceable. Continue boarding. <clears throat> they gave up. because uh, there was none of them left. Take all goods. And that's it, really. Uh, I don't need anything from the ship. Great, now you can go to the global uh, map through actions and go north to Guadeloupe. And then we get out to the Sid Meier's style thing. Which is something I've always loved about this game. Emotional support is very important too. Exactly, morale is key. In uh, you gotta think you can win. Yeah, this was always a big thing for me. And up there is Bastir, um, a place we frequent a lot and draw in pirates and Spanish under the guns of the fort. Are you going to turn around and come after me? No, I think you're a traitor. We could technically attack them if we had caught up with them, but I stopped, so... We are currently under the French flag, you can see at the side there. We played a lot of Port Royale too. Man, I remember Cutthroats and Tortuga and... Oh yeah. Right, let's go talk to this Becker. Although, is this the bank? Nope. Where is the bank here? the prison oh. how about I just do the thing where I go to the bank through that a good interest rate for a good the bank here glad to meet you um I'm interested in jewels unusual idols and gems want to buy some gold and trust me um it's very interesting And that's just from that ship that we just got. All 
Right, anyway, let's uh, talk to the dude. His house is this one, I believe. Yep, Fede's house. But he's just gonna backstab us. Just before he does backstab us. Not if you backstab him first, I wish. Speak with people I'm not acquainted with. Okay. What can I do? He's always catching a fly. Uh, he wants to drink vodka for to get straight to business. Told me that you owe him quite a lot of money from gambling with him. I remember everything. I mean, I owe your brother the gambling. Uh, Dodge the cigarettes, yeah, all the bullshit. Took everything they could, everything I had earned in years of labor. My money, my priceless collection. So we can't clear the debt right now yet. Meet me halfway, uh, since I don't have any coin in my position now anyway, I offer this excellent rare dagger, take a look. I'd really prefer the money over a knife. It's a piece of crap. If I don't have the money, um, I do have this rare enchanted artifact. Do you really think? Um, Rogue money if I would offer you this magnificent magical dagger. Oh. Sell it? Get out of here. Uh, I can seriously believe my ears. I'm giving you one of the prized possessions. Yep. Sure. What is the hidden power you've mentioned? I'm a good Christian, you know, so not some Indian shaman. I have no way of knowing all the hidden properties of this blade, but they exist. Hold the dagger in your hand and feel the power. Okay, I feel nothing but a hold. It fits my hand comfortably. There you go, but that's merely the least of its qualities. It's like, um, those nighttime salesmen. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Now we have to go, uh... You said that you've been robbed. You found the culprits? Problem is I haven't. Those ruffians cleared out the whole house, ran away, did all the silver, gold, and savings. It usually doesn't bother me after all. A real gentleman lean if he loses everything. Yep. Yeah. Of course, I, they swooped up my magnificent, um, collection of Persian Shamshires. There isn't a collection like it in all of the New Worlds. Truly remarkable. Mar uh, the remarkable Persian cavalry swords. Persian sword, you say? It sounds quite interesting. You're a collector, then. I like to collect rare things. Slishish. Charles, maybe you could help me in this matter. Help, but how? You mean by catching the thieves? I'm not particularly interested in thieves, but I'd like my Persian cavalry swords back. If you find them, I will definitely make it worth your while, I promise. Well, maybe you'll catch sight of them on the aisles at some merchants. Those scoundrels can't even comprehend the value of those swords. You know... I'm afraid I won't be able to help you. Yeah, if I find them, I'll definitely bring them to you. <laughs> Good hunting, stalker. I mean, captain. Charles, can you imagine I had another robbery attempt recently? We tried to get inside my house just a few days ago. That was too much for me. He didn't escape from me this time, though. I managed to catch him, gave him a good beating, and had him... Over to guards in the prison in town. I hope they hang him soon. Yeah, no, I think so. He was after money. Caught him in my room, picking through my chests. An Indian from the deep jungle of the Spanish main. He looks ridiculous. Different from the local ones around here, all covered in war paint and dressed in their colorful costume. You could visit the dungeon and see what that jester for yourself, if he still lives. Maybe I'll drop by and see him. Go ahead, have a peek at the freak show. The Rosho. 
Um, I'm kind of careful about saying all these words that I don't know the translation of. Godspeed your trip back to Martinique. Uh, yeah, so you can actually get the, the Indian dude as a... Really? Serpentine, serpentine. So we have to wait a half an hour, eh? Maybe the music would have given it away that, uh... Do, 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 do. Ow. That door open. I'm happy with everything. How about you? I think we're off to a good start. The she is out. Oh no, you have no stamina left. Oh, I have no stamina left. I'm just gonna let my stamina come back for a minute. Man, you shouldn't have to die this way. I'm not sure what way the parry works. If we kill this guy, does this constitute an empty house that I can stay in for half an hour? Stay on the training map. Get the wood soaked in blood. Jesus, one. I do see that the. Hold on a minute. Yeah, let's actually just leave it back to where it was, I guess. Get those heavy attacks in. space and then just attacking uh, outside of that. Hey, Fecker. I want his sword. Critical hit, there we go. Nearly there. Oh, 
Ah, finally. Dun, dun, dun. Combat music has stopped. Combat music has stopped. Okay, there's nothing else to find here. So, can I just like. Really couldn't hurt to rest. I don't want to rest 12 hours, I want to rest like one hour. Sat here for an hour. You liar. That wasn't an empty house. Uh, hello. Well, as I said, they'd stop haunting me, but um, we just well, we have to leave anyway, so <laughs> out of there. Oh, wait. I was going to say the fort. But we might have screwed up. And we might have to reload before talking to the dude. We all know what the forts can do. We're going to get as far away from the forts as possible. I could technically take that ship. So you can see the black arrows then on the, the radar there, kind of our sailing angle that they were on about earlier. Problem is I'm going to have to sail back out towards the fort to get out of here. As you can see, once we cross that, we get our speed back. Let's go just a little bit more. Fort is hitting us again. Macking our sails. We have grave shot loaded, so if he wants to come in and fight us, he can go ahead. fire too fast and something exploded. Nice. The left side, ready to fire. Anyway. Hopefully that won't affect us in the future because we kind of want to come back here and lure an enemy ship in or two.
Oh no. Spanish empires after us right now. Perfect opportunity to go back into port, but uh, obviously we screwed that up. I'm just gonna sail over this way a little bit so that I can do that. The English and the Spanish ships trying to avoid each other. Pirates coming in again, but we're going to be hopefully in a friendly port. Wait, is that Spanish ship after me again? I think it is. So we're just going to hold here for a second, and it definitely is, isn't it? I don't know what the port is like here. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, it's the pirates that are after us. Here comes the Spanish one. I jammed myself in here. <laughs> come on, someone come around the island. Ooh, a storm. Oh, no. Did not need a storm. Do I need to sail out of this or what? So I'd rather just sit here and not move. Although this will help me with the map. I guess. Look at that damage. Put in the sails. I don't need to take sail damage if we can just wait it out. I don't know if we can. Yes, okay. Forget everything. Let's go talk to her brother. He's going to tell us we're an idiot. It's our responsibility to be on guard. Oh, right. What? Oh, he's in the Order of Malta. He's not in the prison. Top, although I gotta admit, uh, I mean, think we're, things are looking dim. He's on the rocks, he's been robbed recently, and da 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 da. But hey, on the rocks, money problems? Ha! <laughs> Give me such a chuckle. Yeah. Show me the dagger the old man gave you in exchange for his dead. Here you go. Yeah, because we can just hand a prisoner a dagger, right? God will judge that pudgy bear scrap like that, Charles. You could buy it at any local store. He pulled a fast one on you, taking advantage of your lack of experience. Becker. Uh, who cares? I'll go back to him in Guadalupe and give the greasy scorcher a shake. There's no need for that unless you want to spend a couple of months in master prison cell. Have you forgotten what I've told you? That puffy bear is a friend of the governor of Guadalupe. As soon as I leave this place, I'll go talk with him heart to heart. It's not going anywhere. Right. Looks like it, but uh, keep your head up. When it was a ship, uh, yeah. And uh, why are you so jumpy all of a sudden? So he's just going to tell us to go out and be a pirate. 
not the peaceful activity either. Again with the, uh, the fancy words, speak French, I beg of you. It's Latin, dear brother. Sorry, I skipped what he said. If you want peace, prepare for war. Pretty apt. Um, lots of ways to make money, basically, is what he's saying. You could, you know, not be honest. Go out and do courier jobs. You can go out and get work from the harbor masters, or you can try and capture Spanish traders. Okay. We're gonna do that. If you surprise me now, you're telling me to come on pirate. What else? What's next? Don't over-dramatize it, Charles. It's really simple. Hunter be hunted. It's the whole philosophy. I prefer the first, and I would like you to follow... For you to follow my example, and I'm not telling you to become a pirate, but to engage in military action against a hostile nation, and only when... It, it, good reason for it. The benefit, you mean. So you do understand. Don't worry, I didn't come here for recreation. What's coming after that? Later on, I'll tell you what to do after that. I put a plan together already. Got a bright future ahead, but uh, if you accurately follow my advice and recommendations, uh, you'll laugh at your worthless past and thank me for the fate. Yeah, okay. That was a lot about being a privateer. One more thing pay your mutual friend for David and ask him to get your job. The bear has good connections. Mm hmm. Wait, a few more tactical advice. If you cross any nation and turn outlaw, visit the local church and talk to Abbot Benoit. Tell him that I have sent you his connections within both the Papist and Calvinist society. He's helped me a lot with such matters more than once, but be aware that it is neither easy or cheap, so try avoiding making enemies. We are nobles, but it's foolish to have an aversion to crafting as your own hands. Okay, yeah. They gave us the recipe for paper cartridges. Using them half the reload time of your gun. If I had a gun. Three months? Yeah. Press K for crafting. So if we had 150 and an empty chest, we could make a chest. Uh, if we had one of each, gunpowder and a lead ball, we can make the paper cartridge. After reload time. And go. Well, time to become a real sage, my brother. Give me all the time in the world to learn such generosity, poor Lulu. Okay, now it's time to visit Fede again. Yeah, let's see if we can actually get into Guadeloupe without being murdered by the fort. and not even all of it repaired in storms and of course the fort ripping our sails let's go to this banker and see if he'll actually do stuff for us now Pesos. I need to get rid of a few of these, I think, for now. If I need them in the near future, we'll get them back, but, um...
Ouch. Uh, what about like 80% on the hull there? That's gonna pass a bunch of time. I need a purser to get rid of the rats. Right, the storm is still going, so... Wait till morning. Always check the cabinet. That's actually a good dagger, right? We're gonna equip the cutlass to start. Steps that belong to us, indeed. Hey, let's go out sailing. Do I have to go back out into the storm? I really don't want to go back out into the storm. Oh, this is the... Alright. we can get past the storm um save it okay. you want to speak with any ingredients in the jungle i'm glad to meet you but i must continue yes i heard you're selling interesting things uh, tears of God, big ones, white brother. Uh, you meant if you want to buy them, I'll sell. Uh, no. So right takes you to the port. Let's go right this time. I just want the storm to pass. I wonder will it pass if we go out onto the ocean though. Alright, that's a bunch of four natives that I won't be able to win against. And if you say the wrong thing to them, they will attack you. You do actually want to be careful. Let's um, test out if we can go back on the water and it'll change from the storm. see if we're gonna die. Oh, there we go. Kind of what I was thinking. Uh, we'll go to the map. <laughs> Excuse me. And back to Guadalupe. And then we'll find out if we're uh, screwed. Now we're still neutral. We're good. 
hopefully we've been away long enough for them to say everything is fine. I could go for that barrel, but it could just be an explosive barrel, and I don't want to waste my time with it. And there's a pirate chasing us, so we're going to use the fort. I could have attacked that Spanish ship as well. You're going to regret this. Ah, good, we're friendly again. Well, his crew is gone already. Load the cannibals. Load the cannibals, so maybe we can get like a killing shot on it. Uh, if his crew is going to be gone and he's getting out of range of that fort, we could chase him. The wind is not great for us to chase him. The left side, ready to fire. Hey, that wasn't bad. I think we actually hit him once. It's going to be directly into the wind. That's unfortunate. We'll never catch him. Not with our sail set up. You can see the the arrows in the on the map right side, ready to fire. okay though I'm just here for the loop I really do want to capture him. They'll give up that ship straight away, though. Oh, hold on. I could hit his sails. I don't even think I need to, though. I think we're good. He has so little crew, his... Faster, a row faster, anyway. Yeah, <laughs> if only. Load the knipples. The knipples. That's weird. They don't want to fire. Oh, I was doing a naval action and pressing space. Why aren't they firing? That's not the button in this game. The left side, ready to fire. Load the bombs. This is what you want to do with the uh, early game. Use those forts to your advantage. little bit closer with some speed not gonna work out for you really because we're faster this way take no prisoners he set us on fire the hell? but anyway they killed that one guy Nice. The part I always found hilarious is like we can loot both chips. I say it nearly every time, but it's funny. Like which one is ours? Uh we're good up here. Oh, there's the door back there. I keep forgetting that one actually.
Alright. Is there a second phase? Die! There is. There was. Band. Hey, this is a this is why you chase down these ships. Alright, let's kill this dude. Actually, um, better because he didn't just wait. Uh, sure. He didn't just um spam his light attack and then go out of uh, stamina. He actually kind of stayed in that fight for a minute, but ship is ours. Technically, I could take this ship because I have the spare crew, and I do have. Oh, he's assigned. Okay, never mind. I can't take it. It's fine. I'll just take all his stuff. Now, he did set us on fire. Do I want to switch ships? The slower ship. The same crew. Can have eight pound guns and 14 of them. Bro? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it has a little bit more in um space and obviously has more hull carrying six pounds carrying 14 of them less maneuverable the off bow angle is 75 which is, that's better for sailing with the wind right i think i switched ships Take all the goods, transfer all the crew. Can I like control click this? No. All right, so technically we've captured our first ship. We've got a sloop instead of a lugger. Which I think would be okay in the long run. I presume my Dude is going to come over as well, right? Obviously. Hey, are we cool if we sail back? Oh, I don't have a spyglass. We technically, okay, we have the French flag, it's just they didn't change it on the ship here. Yeah, they're green, okay. That's all I needed to see. Nice. So I guess we'll hold off going to Guadalupe just for a minute. Go away. Wait. Oh, I am in Guadalupe. What am I thinking of? <laughs> Chat, where was the bank? We got into such a terrible storm.
Nice, that's not bad, right? It's not bad. Yeah, we'll go to the tavern in a minute. Talk to this dude. I don't need any of this right now. See all this money disappear. Get the sales up to max, because that's important. And then I'll spend about five. Save. We have our new lugger. Ooh, look at that one. Sleep. Sorry, we had a lugger. Isn't that right? right? Anyway, I'm gonna call it there, guys. I need to head off to work. Uh, appreciate everyone hanging out. Hope you're having a good one, and uh, hope to catch you again soon. Again, thank to uh, Valkyrie Initiative for the key for early look at this. I'll be posting it up on YouTube, and we'll probably play more of it at the weekend as well. Uh, or tomorrow, we'll see.